20, I think. Did you dig that with that? Yeah, yeah, it's just tr trying to pinpoint the target. And with that detector, it's boom, pinpoint accuracy. Right there, you know exactly where that target's at. With this concentric coil, you know, um, it's going to be, it's going to be really sensitive around the whole coil there. It's giving me a mid-tone. It's a zinc penny there. really loud too this is a bounty hunter metal detector there's no name on it um it says probable target on there that's the only words let's just call this the bounty hunter probable target metal detector there's no name on it it does have a screw in coil connector so i like that about it But we, we had another target over there, but there was a pile of dog crap right on top of the target. And we, just, we, we didn't want to dig it out. So, so we just left it for next time. Right here. Oh, hell yeah. Rotate on it, see if it changes. No, it's too heavy. Some iron there. So where was the main thing over there? Uh, all over the place. Oh, that's big. Yeah. It's a big target. It's an overload. You can dig it out. Oh, okay. Sounds really big. Yeah, it's, it's too big. Yeah, too big. Big iron. Big iron. Here's another one. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Jim. Right there. <laughs> That's a lot. All bottle caps. He has a double D coil. I have a concentric coil. The concentric coils reject bottle caps. See, right here. They had a big event here, a big uh, beer event here, right in this area. I think this is where the tables were at. Um, but, you know, yeah. Let me try it, Jim. That sounds like a really good target. It's dry right here. It's really dry. Oh. Go ahead and get it. It's really hard to pinpoint with this detector. Um, watch it be a ring. Yeah, any, I think. I guess I'm going to have to dig it. Look at here though. Man, that's tough. Yeah, this is thick, thick roots here, thick thatch. Wow, this thatch is hardcore, dude. It's so oh, dense. Wow. Just like solid root balls, man. Jeez. This stuff is just impossible, man. It's a penny, right there. No way. Oh yeah. Bring it, dude. Oh yeah. Obvious one right there. That's a ring. That's a full tab or a ring. That could be right. I don't know. I'm getting just all kinds of tones there. Right on the surface. A full tab right on the surface. <laughs> just jumping everywhere. <laughs> That's the whole thing with concentric coils. They're sensitive all the way around the coil there. Um, when targets are near the surface, it's harder to pinpoint them. But this is my first time using this detector, so I'm gonna try to find some truth. Uh, uh, Walter gave it to me. That's a screamer. That's a quarter. Or dime? Dime. 
Right, right there. Right there, yeah. Yeah. Tighten this up here a little bit. Right there. Oh, there's yeah. yeah, that's just super thick here. Wow, this these roots are hardcore, dude. It's near the surface. This is some brutal stuff, dude. It's super yeah. thick. It's a dime. It's a dime, man. It's a dimer. No, it was Jim's again. finding all the coins. You can tell what uh, everything you dig up with this. Oh, Jim. Another pull tab. Another pull tab. Right here, Jim. Oh, screamer. Jumping everywhere. Go ring with that and... Screamer. Dime. See, it's jumping back and forth and back and forth. Um. That's just a dime. Yeah. Oh my lord, dude. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh my gosh. This stuff is just brutal, man. Oh my gosh, jeez. Stuff's like trying to dig in a freaking 3M scotch bright pad or something. We're going over on that hill in a minute. Oh my God, dude. I'm gonna put my gloves on here, I don't want to cut up. Oh, we got oh. your pen on. Go ahead, try to get out there. I don't like digging without my gloves on, I don't want to get cut, cut up. Bottle, glass or something. Sissy. Sissy. It's a dude, dime right dime. there. It's a dime. Right there, dude. That's a lot of work for a dime. Right. This grass here, just this that. They dump a lot of water on this this grass here. It's still wet. It's still wet from this morning. You can see it all the wet right here. Well, just, Mushy uh, right here. Top too, Jimmy. Everything, all this, both these amphitheaters were all. Um, th there's a, yeah, a bunch of food carts were right up here on top of this hill, so we might find some coins up here. Right here. No, something big. Something big there. Yeah, something big. See, I'm learning already the big tone. This is only the first time I've been using this detector. I can already tell the big, to big tones. See, once you learn one detector, once you learn about metal detecting is how how fast you're swinging and how big the targets are, you learn the tones on a detector really quick. Once you master one detector, the other detectors that you use after that detector are much easier to, to, to learn. Oh yeah. This one's gonna smack it hardcore. Calling it'll iron a little bit, but it's it's a mid conductor, so this lower frequency is gonna call that those mid conductors iron. It's a nickel right there, nickel. See, watch watch what happens when I sweep it over. <laughs> Super slow recovery speed, right? See, it doesn't hit it every time I swing over it, so. Something big there. This is right where all the food carts were at. Right here this last weekend. The beer event. Oh. I have fun, fun no matter what machine I'm using. That tot lot is, always has kids in it. Man. Even when it's raining out, their kids are always in that playground. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Come on, baby. Where's the juice? Oh, whoa, dude, that is a lot of trash. Dang, man. Yeah, dude. Crazy. That van over there has a trailer full of trash there. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign. A lot of trash. Means more people are using the park. Right down front. Yep. Down the amphitheater. Get it, Jim. Well, you got a lot more fish than I got because I've done put that back. That's all good. Still having fun. Yeah, you got to give it a try, though. Yeah, got to give it a try. A lot of, pe a lot of people um, who say, oh, this machine's better than that machine, they haven't used that other machine yet, right? How can you compare machines if you haven't really gone out there and compare them against each other on live dig targets in the wild, right? What do you think? It's a coin. Or a pull tab. Could be some jewelry too. Could be a ring. What the hell was that, dude? Weird. What the heck is that? Some kind of lid for something. I don't know. Some aluminum. A little cap for something. Aluminum cap. Yeah, come on, baby. Let's find some jewelry with this thing. I found some jewelry with my other bounty hunter metal detector just the other day. I found some jewelry on the curb strip. And I found... Bowl, right? I, huh? What you got there? Oh, it sounds big. Oh, it's not big. Let's go for it. Sounds like something good to me. Is your pin pointer working? Yeah, it's working. It's just hard to know where the target's at because um, it's near the surface. This coil doesn't pinpoint targets. Targets on the surface very well. Right there, Penny. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Another one? Another one here. It sounds big. For some reason it sounds big. It's a nickel. Or it's a penny. Right there. A mid-tone. So the zinc pennies give me a mid-tone on this machine. A dime, bam. I don't know. See what this is here. Could be a bottle cap, a deeper bottle cap, but um, no, not gonna be able to hit that one. If you swing too fast over targets, it will give you an iron tone on this machine. So you have to slow down. When you do get an iron tone, slow down. Swing over it slower. Just like the same with all the other machines. When you're swinging fast over targets, it'll give you an iron tone. On pretty much all machines, it'll give you a, it'll dr drop those the the ID down a lot when you're swinging fast. But with this machine, it just gives you an iron tone. I think it's a three-tone machine. I'm not really sure about anything about this machine because I don't know the name of it, right? I don't know the name of the machine. There's no, there's, it just says Bounty Hunter on it. Bounty Hunter, no, no name on it. Even the, um, even the coil does not even say Bounty Hunter, but none of the Bounty Hunter coils say Bounty Hunter on them anyway. At least I don't think. It doesn't say Bounty Hunter on the connector there, no. I'll find some jewelry. I will. I'm, I'm determined to find some jewelry today. This is the perfect spot to find jewelry. Come on, baby. 
Screamer, dude. Is it a coin spill? Nope, big iron. Big iron, just gonna skip it. That's how I can learn this machine better too, is I can have Jim check the targets. So I, I, I can spend more time digging out better targets than targets like that, right? I already know what that, I already know what that was just by the tone of his machine. You know what I'm saying? When you have somebody along with you, you can learn a lot faster. And if you know their machine, you can learn a lot faster. You can learn the machine that you're using a lot faster. So that way I'm not spending time digging out junk targets like that. I'm, I'm learning more by digging out better targets. That's big iron, right? He's gonna skip it. He, he just skipped it. I, I know the tones of that machine. Junk. I'm at two sensitivity here, medium sensitivity. Try that one, Jim. Big iron, big iron. It sounded kind of big, so I'm learning the tones on this machine, it, the, the big tones, the big iron. Okay. Junk. Where's the rings at, man? They're here. Just need to swing over it. Iron. Right here under this tree. Yep, under the trees. Right there, smashing it. Good target right here. See how it's really slow to respond? I'm already over here by the time it responds.